So today we're in Michaux State Forest in Pine Grove Furnace State Park. We're off Bunker Hill Road. We're going to be doing Camp Michaux. This was a um, POW camp for Japanese and German prisoners. Um, there's like a guided tour. Um, here's the first marker one. I believe one was like a garage. So every, every site there's like a corresponding marker. So we'll try to go through each site and tell you what we so see. So this garage and equipment site, you can see where the dogs are running in. There is some structures that can still be seen. They dug this, this wasn't here last time I did this, so they did some excavation work and you can see the outline of it. So site number two says the ruins of an old farmhouse. And here's some ruins up here. Right here, this is where the old farmhouse stood. Like I said, as you're following along, this is site number two. Here's some steps, I guess leading into the farmhouse. Another concrete slab. So this is a uh, post marker three and there was like a church group that had this after the POW camp. They used this area for outdoor worship. But there's not much to see up here. So we're gonna head back down. So up here, here's four, and here's the base of a guard tower they used to watch the prisoners. You can see the four posts here. So here's the old barn that was up here. I believe it collapsed not too long ago, maybe in the 2000s. There's a marker up here, I'll read it. But Bunker Hill Farm. Here, part, partly collapsed in 2016. So you will cross Bunker Hill Road. You gotta get to the other side to see more sites. Um, here's the base of it looks like another another maybe guard tower or something was here so five is the uh, for, former site of the log cabin used by the CCC and the uh, POW camp you can still see they excavate the remains to a degree and you can see these concrete slabs Here's the CCC marker, CCC uh, Building Conservation Corps, who uh, built most of the structures here. And right across from where we parked on Bunker Hill Road is the sign, the main sign for Camp Michelle. So it just explains that it was a CCC camp and then it was a prisoner of war camp. And I think we're going to Site 7 next. So site 7, this was actually where they did the interrogations in this building that was here. See some steps here. And big concrete slabs. So this is where they interrogated the prisoners. So marker 8, the POWs inscribed on this marker. It's very hard to read. And my dog is right over top of it. Lucy, come. So like I said, the POW, they inscribed on this. Order, but this is marker 25. These were more barracks. I'll get a picture of the post. But yeah, 25. This was a location of barracks. You can kind of see where they were with this concrete slab running through. And these pilings. And it continues. Here's another marker. Like an in. That's pretty cool. So here's some steps, and we're in that the barrack area. And here's some more. I believe they're barracks. But you can see where the. Uh, 
concrete began and where it ended in the back. Here we are for our marker nine. There's a fountain up here they built, guard tower, and it was used as a recreation hall. You can see the fountain right here. And I believe that blue stuff in there is slag from the iron furnace, like leftover. So here we are at the CCC flagpole marker 12. Here's a nice row of evergreen trees, obviously planted by somebody. So 14 is was a site of a log camp cabin for a camp commander. You can see we were up there earlier. Here's some more concrete pilings. And here's the foundation of the structure right here with some more field stone right there. So here's some... I guess a well. Here's 13. This is the infirmary, doctor's house. See the remains of it here. It's just a sunken in depression, some concrete slabs. So we're walking on this line path and you can actually see where they laid rocks on either side of it. So number 10, it's the locking mechanism for compound one. You can see it right here, this metal piece. The dogs will be out of the way and around. So that's marker 10. So 11 is the CCC star and it has some slag in it. You can see the blue. So the CCC made this. So I believe this is more barracks. You can see there's concrete pillars and then the foundation up here. Here's another, like, his sewage or drainage, something to do with water. And more barracks up here. There should be a marker up here somewhere. So it's kind of hard to follow it in order, but we're going to try to get to. You can see the outline of the barracks here. So here's the CCC barracks. I'll zoom it out. You can see the outline of it. And this was also the German uh, POW's mess hall. It's a pretty big building you can see. So here we are walking through the CCC barracks and the German POW mess hall. You can see the concrete uh, foundation on the outside. So 16 is the German barracks. You can see this is another big building with the foundation. So the prisoners did plant some yucca plants and you, you'll see evidence of it. And here's a plant right here. We're in that... Uh, the German barracks right now. Like I said, a pretty big building. So up here, 17 is the latrine bathhouse. And there's gonna be a, it's called the stairs to nowhere. There's stairs up here, but you can see it's just a big concrete slab. And this is where they went to the bathroom and where they bathed. So here's the uh, stairs to nowhere. And there's just a nursery up there. So what's interesting about doing a hike like this in the winter is number one, it's cold. There's not many people out. Uh, number two, the foliage is down for the most part. So you can see structures. So marker 18, here's the uh, swimming pool. If you saw any of my other videos, you saw on the Copenhagen Trail, not too far from here. There's another abandoned swimming pool, but uh, it's all iced over now. So there is like a, what, like a, some type of structure down here. That's part of the swimming pool. We're on the other side of it. I don't know what it was, but that's it. So we're gonna head down into this part of the swimming pool. Let's see what's down here. Is it wet? Nothing. How wet it is. 
So we're in this room underneath the swimming pool. Some water, but not too much. So that was this little structure. Here's the door underneath the pool. Here we are heading out. And there is like another well down here to the left. I did see. So 19 is the dam and the water reservoir. You'll see it up here. They got this nice bridge over here. Small little waterfall, obviously man-made, but cool nonetheless. And then we'll try to find a POW uh, scribbled some writing uh, in this uh, dam area up here. Try to show you that as well. So here's that man-made waterfall and the dam and reservoir behind it where my brother is. So here's uh, the, where the German POW inscribed uh, May 22nd, 1945. I don't know if you can see that, how well it's coming up on video. So here we are on the backside of the reservoir looking down onto the, where I just was, that bridge. And here's that waterfall looking down from the top of it. And 20 is the pump house and the second dam they built. So the pump house is up here to the left. Here's some pipes. Here's the pump house. Here's the inside of that pump house. And here's a structure around it. And there's a kiosk about protecting nature and history. So here's that dam. You can see the outline of it, the concrete. Here's the creek. Here's where that old dam was. We're gonna walk across the dam, see what's over here. So here's that uh, reservoir they dammed up. They did divert the water a bit, but I don't know if this was a ladder to get in it when it was a pool or not. But here's the channel concrete where they diverted the water. Pretty cool. That runs right from the creek and then it would drain right down there off this concrete slab, creating this reservoir. So 21 is the mess hall. And I guess this was the basement of it. And it goes around here. You can see there's more concrete slabs up there. So across from 21, is the incinerator. So 
This is the end of this right here. So this is where they incinerate their stuff. If it was down there or if it was here, structure, I'm not sure. Here's another area of that mess hall. There, we were just over so there. So 22 is base of a flagpole. Might be right here, but all frozen up. I'm not sure. And then 23 is down here. I'll check and see what 23 is. So 23 is the recreation and patio area for the POW. And you can see there's metal pillars. And it's all flat area. You see more concrete right there, more concrete here. Here's 24, another bathhouse and latrine. You can see the ruins up here. So I guess these would have been the stalls for the bathhouse. One, two, three. And these might have been the toilets or where they were. So ways from the camp is Tom's Creek Bridge, I think, 26. And there is, uh, I believe, POW writing somewhere down here. Yeah, right here. I'll try to get closer. Here's POW right on here. It's going to be hard to see. But right there is another POW inscription. So the last marker on here, 27, is the sewage treatment plant. And this isn't far from that bridge. You can see here's the sewage treatment plant. And here's the middle of that sewage treatment plant.